I'm not talking civilly once throughout this oh, entire right. ordeal. <laughs> How about okay. we get into it then? All right. So Rockstar has removed 188 vehicles from Grand Theft Auto Online from all the websites, uh, which is absolutely insane. I'm here with Twingo and NPC today, and we're going to be discussing Rockstar's removal of 188 vehicles from Grand Theft Auto Online's websites, um, removing the ability to purchase them. Uh, cars including the Sterling GT, one of the best sounding cars in the entire game. Cars like the Enus Paragon R, cars like the Anus S80RR, and many, many other very good cars from GTA. A lot of these cars are actually within the top 10 fastest cars in a category. So removing them is kind of a complete violation because you're completely changing what people can use in races and stuff like that and removing cars that are semi-viable in races, which I think is unbelievable. And that's just that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna be discussing this. We're gonna be ranting about this today. Um, gentlemen, what are what are your thoughts? Honestly, I I oh. I really just can't see the point <laughs> in it. It just seems like such a stupid thing to do, just removing it from the websites to purchase. You can still find them on the streets if they're like cheap enough and you can keep them there but what what is removing them from the website did Besides, i hear... like make it scroll faster or something well it adds space when has space ever been a con gta is 110 gigabytes when has <laughs> space been a concern <laughs> yeah like i i don't understand this is it for xbox one and ps4 because they can't handle having more pictures on a virtual website in gta online like, they didn't I don't share any reasoning for this did they, they? They, I, well, no, the, the reasoning that they um, said that they were doing this was uh, an experience improvement um, to make the websites easier to navigate. That's like, uh. I've got a perfect comparison. If you're in the shower and you have to put soap on your legs, right? But like, you, ha you can't quite reach <laughs> your feet. Instead of bending down and, you know, putting soap on your feet. No, you cut your legs off. <laughs> like it, oh that's my God. exactly what this is though it's like yeah it's like oh oh my car doesn't start let's remove the wheels it's just brain dead it makes no sense it's stupid it's ruining the experience of this game for new players too because but what completely. are they gonna do what happened to all the budget options you yeah, can exactly buy. oh well don't worry don't worry twinkle you go to uh simeon's dealership <laughs> Uh, which contains a maximum of what six or seven cars and they're going to rotate the cars from the websites into Simeon's dealership and the luxury autos so luxury autos has how many how many oh, two two vehicles Simeon's has either six or seven inside it, it. has five five even even worse <laughs> Even worse. So at most, every single week, we'll have access to seven of the 188 removed vehicles. Incredible. Awesome. They're so they're so nice to us. They're so good. This is such a good idea. The guy who approved this, or girl at Rockstar, you know, maybe it was a girl. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows who? Maybe they weren't either. <laughs> but who, whoever did this at Rockstar Games should be removed permanently from making any decision at that company ever again they can clean the toilets from now on that's what they deserve to do after being like yeah you know what this is a good update this is a really good thing to do to gta online we should definitely change this let's remove 188 pieces of content from the game usually when a company would remove items it's usually replaced by something of almost identical value whether it be like game performance or bug fixes or like just new cars too like replacements but yeah. we basically got nothing no we, i wasn't having any kind of problems using the websites besides it just loading a little too slow when i'm going yeah. to the bottom well, of the page I, I, and they you know what they could also remove the websites i don't know if you guys know this but the websites actually as soon as you as soon as you click on legendary motorsport say and go to like the two-door section and you know when you're scrolling down and you're scrolling down too fast and the pictures have to catch up and load like behind you like as you've scrolled down the website yeah that is by design that doesn't have to be a, it's to simulate what a real website would be like in gta they don't have to do that they could literally just make it so the cars are like the pictures are there when you go onto the website and you scroll down and you find the car you want instead of having to wait for it like the pictures to load and catch back up to you that's true. It, it probably is still like that. I'm actually curious. Let's see. Let's see. Does it yeah, still do that? Let's, They've let's, removed let's, 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 let's all of these, all of these pieces yeah. of content from the game. Oh my! Oh, it's oh, not loading. So I can still outscroll it. My I can God. still outscroll it. And 
it's just like <laughs> why 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 would they do this it's it's just it makes no sense it's it's the worst idea that rockstar has had recently I, i'm trying to think of something even comparable but it's like i, I don't even know like what is comparable to them? they are milking gta because it's it's like i think they want people to buy the uh the vinewood uh club or whatever or gta yeah, what's plus with that? yeah, I, haven't, true. I don't I still don't really understand what's going on i don't really that. understand it either i'm never going to either because i'm never buying gta plus i think Especially is it supposed to be like makes decisions like this yeah yeah that that does not make me want to support them yeah. you know is it supposed to be like another simian dealership where it's like cars for gta I plus so. members i think so and you yeah 20 percent discount on them. oh it, my it's, god it's ridiculous and they'll they they'll probably have cars that have been removed from the game yeah I, only I accessible if you pay them yeah probably mm -hmm. with a, what like an exclusive livery or something like that yeah so, something like that yeah. it's, it's just a joke but the, like also the the thing that we also need to touch on is like we make the top gear challenge series you know pretty much weekly sometimes semi-weekly or bi-weekly um and we've been doing that for what the last two three months maybe mm -hmm. something like that you know for for that video series that we do we delve into some of the cars that are cheaper in gta some of the cars that are more expensive we set a price range in it if you've never seen it right if you've never seen our top gear series we'll set like a budget requirement like best car for 1.5 million dollars best car for we, ju we just did the best car for fifty thousand dollars challenge now Imagine if we had to do that same challenge right now. Yeah, how many cars do you think are left that's we, under fifty thousand dollars? We couldn't do it. It's like the Bravado Bison and the Vapid Saddler are like are like two of the options. It's it's criminal. Like it's crazy. And it's like, yeah, we could just go steal the cars off the street, but what if the car we want off the street isn't spawning? Then we just lose the challenge. I yeah, guess? there's like a like, wave of like five or so vehicles that spawn at a time in like a certain location. So we'd and, have to wait in-game days for different totally and a couple of the vehicles in the spawn sets are going to be over 50 grand anyway yeah like, the, like a dubsta i think a dubsta it, you could you could never purchase it on a website but i think it's worth 70k it, it's just it's a ridiculous thing to do it makes no sense and it makes life harder for content creators and honestly not to toot our own horns here at all but a lot of the reason that people play gta and we get told this in the comments all the time on our videos is because of content creators like us keeping things fresh and interesting having new ideas bringing new things to the table you know people can go and make their own top gear challenges with their friends after seeing us do it and it's a it's a way for people to have fun in gta with sort of a new a new look at things or a new take on things you know what i mean yeah a new uh, a new idea for something to do in gta same with our manhunt series and our manhunt series our man could hunts. even it could even be affected by this too because it's usually, definitely affected yeah usually the hunter usually the person who's being hunted is running in a you know pathetic little car like the declassy asia or <laughs> you know in peace asia oh yeah, my or, or the, god Chebrek that we just did last rest week. in peace Chebrek. the Chebrek's gone oh yeah, my why? god why? that one's that new for so many people that and one's the, new the, it's so stupid too because like they removed the can of seminal and the can of seminal frontier and the fr the frontier was added in 2020 with the los santos summer deals like <laughs> It's three years. Like, why are we removing? Why are we removing that vehicle? Also, removing complete icons like the Emperor ETR One and the RE Seven B. Almost okay. all the stunt it's race cars. The Tyrus too. The Tyrus is going. No. Seventy. The yeah. Dubachi Masaka race car and the like, Jester race like, car. Why? What? 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 The Dubachi Masaka race car is a free vehicle. <laughs> Is it no, it was it was 385k. Oh yeah, okay. No, it's just it, there's no point in doing this. It doesn't improve the website. And why are we gonna go ahead and remove the cars rather than just having a sorting option on the website? Why can why couldn't we sort cars A to Z? Why couldn't we sort by price more in depth? Like say um, under 500,000, or have a filter where you can set it like cars that are 250k to 750k you know what i mean it, it can't be that hard to implement it really could, can't yeah there would be so many other better options that could have been easier too for to improve performance totally. that's what they were going for totally there's no excuse for this rockstar has to fix this this is not something that is going to be able to stay in gta otherwise the player base is going to drop off harder than it has been already in the last few months since the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC, which, by the way, sucked. So, oh my God, that was terrible. With this, with this sort of change, with them removing, it's like a removal DLC. They added, they removed so much more than they added. And and granted, totally. I'm pretty happy with this day one. 
uh, given what we given yeah, what what we, what got, what we, we got, got last time. The drug wars, oh my yeah, god, this, that was this terrible. Is a pretty good day one, but but we like, we better have that for like the rest of GTA 5's lifespan. We better have a good <laughs> day ones. Yeah, well, and it's the thing is, it's like okay, so we're gonna we're gonna remove 188 cars from the game, but we're gonna introduce a new thing for GTA Plus, which you have to pay more money for. It's it's, it's like, becoming pay to win. I think it's, it's pretty it's predatory. Com completely, yeah. It's a it's a predatory business practice. It's not cool. Rockstar needs to change this. I'm actually gonna leave a link to uh to a support ticket that you guys can fill out in the pinned comment down below on my video here, and I think that NPC and Twingo will do the same. I would heavily encourage every single one of you to write a support ticket saying we want those cars back if you do not add those cars back we are not playing the game anymore i don't care it's complete self-sabotage for all three of us but literally gta is going to die so hard if they don't fix this issue that they have created right now me telling you guys to not play gta anymore and to boycott gta that is completely self-sabotaging me and twingo and npc because obviously we make money off of it. and this is for me at least my livelihood this is what i do for work so obviously me telling you guys not to play GTA anymore is counterintuitive to me, for sure. It's like, the way I see it, if Rockstar removes these cars and keeps them out of the game, the interest in GTA is going to be lower than it has been since the Drug Wars DLC, which it was already getting pretty low. So it's just it's just they've got to fix this they this can't stay this way fill out support tickets blow well, these videos up as well hang on hang on before before we we just you know hammer it in on rockstar in a more positive light i i just thought of this but i think having all of the cars accessible is really good to us as content creators um you know and we're we're pretty established in gta it's it's easy for us to you know get money and stuff but i feel like if i don't know like simeon i i feel Whenever I do the weekly updates, I feel so useless going to Simeon. I'm like, this is such a waste of my time. Like, like who even goes here? Just buy it off of the website. Yeah. I think I think it could spark a little bit more interest in like seeing what cars are are uh, are on. You know, giving you more of a reason to hop on the game to see what vehicles are like in rotation. Uh, people like to gamble. That's kind of just a thing. You know, it like piques curiosity and it, it it'll make people get on. I feel like that's. Aside from the predatory aspect of this, where it becomes pay to win if you're like racing and stuff, since so many cars are are, are just out, I feel like it's sort of like a more minor minor scale change where it just piques interest. I feel like that wasn't the main goal of this. In my eyes, like you know, it's it it's not gonna do us any good to just look at it in a negative light. I don't think it's gonna yeah. do us. I, yeah, I, I do. Mm. I do agree, and you, I do see your point, but I do just think that. For the majority of players, this is going to be a, like a make or break moment for GTA, and I think that uh, I think that it's going to be a break moment because, like, when you remove a bunch of cars that people love in GTA, like the Canna Seminole, I mean, everybody knows it's the greatest <laughs> car in GTA Online, and you remove the ability to purchase that, and now you have to steal it from a poor NPC off the street. That's a horrible thing to have to do. Like, I don't know how you can live with yourself stealing a can of Seminole like that. <laughs> All jokes aside, I, I just think, yes, it will maybe cause some people to want to get onto GTA to see what's available at Simeon's dealership. But the thing is, is the content is not new. It's stuff that's been in the game for years. That's and so true. what is the real incentive? And I think a lot of people are just going to be like, well, f*** this, because I wanted... The Fister Comma SR. Like some somebody commented on my video and said, I really wanted the Fister Comma SR, but I can't get it. And who knows when it's gonna when it's gonna arrive in GTA? Maybe it'll come in five weeks. But in five weeks, that person who commented that might have no interest in GTA because they couldn't get that car. And maybe they're not gonna keep up with GTA, and then they're never gonna know that yeah, the Fister Comma SR is available in Simians. It's not like they're gonna get a notification saying, hey, this car is available. Like it's That's just not going to happen, right? So mm -hmm. I think that I think that for the majority of people, with the frustration that people have with Rockstar games already, I think this is just going to be a boiling point, and it's going to spill over, and people are just going to quit GTA because there's so many good cars that have moved from the game. If you just think about our Top Gear challenges that we've done in the last few weeks, right? The Enos Paragon R, the Fister Comma SR, which were both used in Top Gear challenges very recently. Those two cars have both been removed from the game. And the Enos Paragon R won that one Top Gear challenge. Now people can, people will watch that and they'll be like, man, I want the Enos Paragon R. Oh, it's not in the game anymore. I can't even buy it. Yeah. 
Like same thing it, with the Ruiner just from last yeah, week. It yeah, didn't totally, win, but same totally. Thing. No, the Ruiner and, and the the Karen Intruder for that matter as well. The Karen yeah. Rebel from the Off Road Challenge. Yeah, the Rebel from the Off Road Challenge. The Seminole from the Off Road Challenge. The ACR. Did you use a small wheelbase uh, truck? The Sand King. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, that's gone too. Oh my god. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So, like this video, comment on this video, like, do anything you can to drum up the interaction with this video because it's going to help to push it to more people. We need to get Rockstar to reverse this change. It is pretty much essential in my eyes to GTA's lifespan that this is reverted and changed back to how it was. I just think this is going to frustrate so many people and cause GTA to go into even more of a decline than it's already in right now. So, it is. It's just increased the FOMO thing they were going for when they were doing the drip feed yeah, and the remove. New, yeah, oh the my god, no one likes it, dude. No, no one, one likes, likes it. For everyone, but they it's... make you hop on for once a week, buy a yeah. shark card because you don't want to play for the whole week if you're busy. Yeah. And it's it's getting it's getting them sales. And that's yeah. why they're keeping doing it. And if they do this with the GTA plus in the stupid new auto show or whatever and bringing back the old cars, that's definitely gonna increase shark card sales. 100%. It's going to be an endless cycle of this abuse where they take things away and give them back for more money. Yeah, well, and, and Rockstar has That's to know how much terrible. people hate it. The the FOMO thing with like remove like adding the tune to the tune Japan theory and then removing it after a week. Same with the Anis 300R. Same and that with, one still hasn't come back. Yeah, like there's there's tons of cars that have been added and removed, and every single comment about it, pretty much, I'd say ninety eight percent of comments about it were negative. Everyone hates that, and so it's like, okay, so they hate this. Let's remove one hundred and eighty eight cars. <laughs> what? Like, are you? F oh insane? my god! Rockstar Games has lost their mind. Like, yeah, I'm, okay, yeah. <laughs> Who is making these decisions? Oh, the community hates this? Let's do this. It's brain dead. It's so stupid. Eh. We need to fix this, guys. We need to fix this. Like the video or dislike for that matter. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Comment down below. I'm going to have the pinned comment on my video to go and write out a support ticket on Rockstar's website. Tell them you want these cars back into the game. Otherwise, you're not playing anymore. And uh, if we have to boycott GTA for a few weeks, you know, we, we might we might just have to do that. So speak with your wallet. That's the only yeah, way that speak goes. Speak with your wallet. Do not buy shark cards. Do Don't buy not. GTA Plus. Yeah. Don't buy GTA Plus. Do not buy shark cards. We need to uh, we need to make Rockstar pay for what they've done here and realize the mistake that they have made. I think that's pretty much it. I'm done if you guys are. Well, I'm not uh, done. I, I I could scream and yell about this for hours, but <laughs> yeah, think, that's pretty uh, frustrating. I I think that I think that that's I think we've pretty much covered it. It's just it's it's a stupid idea. It's a very it's toxic core. cycle. Yeah, hundred percent. This is like the most toxic relationship. Yeah, ever. Honestly. Like, like it, they're thriving off of like bad feeling. Yeah, totally. It's it's just it's not fair. It's not smart. It's it's just it's gonna ridiculous. kill the game. Yeah, it's, it's almost good. dead already. This is yeah. definitely not gonna help yeah. that. It's like a, a oh 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 GTA Five is almost oh ten years into its lifespan. Let's remove one hundred eighty. Let's remove a, a literal third of the cars Dude. in the game. That's what people want. I'd yeah. honestly be fine if this was added like three years into the game's life, where they just take a bunch of cars off sale that. You know, aren't, no one's really buying, of course. But if yeah. they gave it to Simeon at that time and gave him, like, more interaction when it really mattered, yes. when the player yes. base was alive, totally. that'd be fine. But at the end of the game, where you just kind of want to do everything, see what the game has it's to offer, on this on is by pointless. A thread. Yeah. It's hanging on by a thread at this point. It's so obvious that they're just trying to milk GTA Five As much as they can until 6 comes out. And it's like, it's like, the way I see it, too, it's like, the more you f*** over your player base with GTA 5, the less likely people are going to be uh, to buy GTA 6. Like, and I know that's like an extreme. I'm sure a lot of people would say, I'm never buying GTA 6 and buy it anyways, just like people do with Call of Duty every year. <laughs> but it's it, at a certain point, there are going to be people who are like, I'm sick and tired of what Rockstar has been doing. I'm not f***ing doing this anymore. And they're not going to buy GTA 6. They're not going to play it. And they're going to stop playing GTA 5 for that matter as well. I'm doing that with Activision right now. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm not playing I'm not playing COD anymore. I'm never buying another Call of Duty game. And unfortunately, that might, you know, that that might happen to Rockstar. And I don't want to see it happen to Rockstar because I do think that they do make good good, you know, content uh, occasionally, but then they do stupid <laughs> like this and it's like what the f like you you seemingly have a brain but then all of a sudden it's gone. Rockstar has had so much success with GTA Online. What game? What online game has lasted a decade 
yeah, and has literally. and and is still like like I think it's the third most watched game on YouTube. Like it's it's so successful. I don't see too, why probably. they're I don't see why they're 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 trying to copy other companies with like the the new predatory method. If like yeah. it's like when you said, they, Swingo when they have their own thing. Yeah, it's like it's like if they added this early on into the game, it's like whatever. It's a business de- decision. They're still like growing the game, but it's like it's at the end of the game's lifespan and it's it's just so like th- there's no point doing this other than to bully your player base it's disrespectful totally. for all of the people who have been playing your game and supporting you for the last decade and it's so around. disrespectful a hundred percent and and screwing over the people that make content on your game and keep your game popular Exa- exactly oh my like god bro. like on honest to god youtubers that make gta content like tgg gilly master bruffy people like that just to name a few the professional right people like that they they're some of the reason that this game is as popular as it is still and and i i'd say they're a large part of the reason that the game is as popular as it is yeah and and for you to make everything harder for for creators like that pure insanity it's it's just it's pure greed it's like you're gonna prioritize money because you think that your game is good enough right now to make people stay and you don't need the people who actually support your game like day in and day out i i'm just so disappointed at how obvious it is i totally agree. like rockstar is it's a huge company like it's like what what it's like taking candy from a baby boo yeah like what honestly why, why do you have to do this and they, they didn't fill the gap with anything no we, we got like five new vehicles that was expected with the update and then 188 are gone and there was nothing else that came with it <sighs> It's just disappointing. It's just really disappointing. We we were all saying to each other before the DLC came out, it's like, no way this can be worse. Yeah, I'm I, so excited. You know what? I, I don't know. I, I hate I hate to say it. I, I think that I think that the game itself is in a a much more positive sort of light than it was when Drug Wars came out. I think Drug Wars was just a horribly done DLC. I don't know what exactly it was, but I mean, just, if you just think about the day one of Drug Wars, it's like two of the vehicles were absolutely horrible. So BF, underwhelming. BF Surfer and the and the Zirconium Journey Two, <laughs> like both of those cars are literally already in the game. That's you just you just changed the colors. Yeah, it, it was just a joke. But at least with this, it's like it's like we have the click wagon which is kind of a play on an old car but other than that like everything's everything's pretty new i was so, pretty happy with this day one yeah i was pretty happy with this day one yeah, but and then, i was like damn this is it's such a good dlc and then you know we're gonna get the drip feed which is like pretty normal there's the missions it's it's got like a pretty good amount of stuff for the day one and then yeah. and then i i hear i wake up this morning and i hear they removed 188 vehicles that's like yeah an entire an entire and, class and, like yeah, the and, biggest and while, class. while we were all asleep after making all those videos they pulled the trojan horse in with 188 cars being oh removed from the game God, hidden dude. inside of the horse it's just it's criminal it's it's just it's insane i don't know i just don't know why why would you do this it is the dumbest thing you could have done just rockstar is completely out of touch with reality and with uh, with their player base that's the that's really the only way that i that i can describe it go fill out your support tickets the rockstar website i'll leave that in the pinned comment uh, yeah we're gonna go do that now too yeah last i last i heard the website was actually crashing because there were so many support tickets being written so let's keep it up let's keep that website crashing for days on end boys like i said leave a like on this video to help spread the word comment down below let us know your thoughts you can literally say like a one a one character you know comment it doesn't matter you don't need to say anything just literally put a period put the comment on the video just to help increase the interaction and get these videos spread out to more people and uh, hopefully we can get more support tickets written and we can, uh, we can get Rockstar to change this. And I'm talking, we're not getting this changed with the next DLC in December. We're getting this changed in like two weeks with an update. They're going to fix this. We're not waiting till December to have this. It's not happening. It's Rockstar is going to fix this within the month. They have to, because I, I just, there's just no way. The game the game's going to die off if they don't fix this. That's the bottom line, I think. Thanks for, yeah, th- thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you in the next one.